you know, Beck, I want to tell you something. See, I thought you had some brains. You think this was all given to me, huh? You don't think I busted my gut to get where I am? I started with nothing. Zero. I worked hard for all of it. The American way. May the best man win. I'll tell you something, boy. You can have it all. Play your cards right and work real hard. What makes you think I'm going to go over the backs of my friends just to get to the top, huh? Oh, you really won't do that. Now, I'll tell you something. They're sure as hell going to climb over your back. Well, what about these people in Tucson? Did you shut down the precision pump, huh? What about that? Are they a big threat to Buchanan? You know, you know you're funny. See, I pick my charities. Bad business ain't one of my favorite causes. Situation goes bad, you close it up or sell it. Nobody buys a bad proposition. I had no choice. Yeah, well, what about the working people, huh? I mean, what kind of choice did they have? I did not come here to debate about the past. I brought you here to use your talents, if any, and I'm willing to pay a price. Well, you don't think that I have what it takes to charm Dee Dee away from both, so what do you want me to do? I don't know. How about using your imagination, huh? I could get very expensive, you can. Well, you see, I pay a fair price. After all, I'm a great believer in management and labor relations. You have a headache, Tina? No, actually, it's just a little tension, but it gets me in the neck. I learned this thing in my yoga class. It, it seems to take care of it. Yoga, you must have been uh, pretty busy since you've been away. Yeah, and I learned a little bit along the way, too. You make that sound like it was a very good experience. Oh, I didn't mean to make it sound that way. Actually, I had a great time. California is gorgeous, and I secretly enjoyed my business school, and I made some friends. It was just time to come home. You must have uh, done pretty well in that school. I mean, Face is already offering you a special project. I think he knows he can depend on me. Hmm. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if someday you end up with uh, Chuck Wilson's job. Of course, that's going to take a lot of stamina. Ace always figures Chuck ought to work uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> well, I wouldn't attempt to take over Chuck's job, but I can do the best I can. Hmm. Really? Would you like that job? I want to get ahead in the world, so um, I'll do whatever is necessary. Uh, what's the, um, what's the special project Ace has got you working on? Well, I really don't think I should say. I mean, Ace is a little fussy about having his business deals on the QT. And if he heard me talking about company business after hours, he might not like it. And are you trying to get me fired when I've only been with the company for a, a month? <laughs> No, I'm not exactly a stranger, you know. It hadn't been that long since Ace asked me to come back into the, the business. He did. You didn't tell me that. That's because I said no. I mean, you know, once you've worked for Ace, I think that's, that's about enough. I used to run Lone Star Records for him before I bought him out. You ran some of his real estate deals, too, didn't you, Bill? Yeah, yeah, I sure did. Of course, I hate looking back on that. I got some regrets. Did he ask you to do something unethical? Let, let's just put it this way. Asa and I, we don't quite see the world in sync, usually. And, and when somebody's working for him, he usually wants them to do things his way. And if they don't want to do it his way, then they get out. And that's exactly what I did. I got out. Well, maybe he's changed. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not just running on like a motor mouth here. I'm not saying that he would ever ask you to do anything unethical. You don't have to try to bend the truth from me. Uh, I've heard all the stories about Ace Buchanan, and even though I may be a new employee, I'm not new, new to Landview. I think that's why I'm starting to feel like I understand, Asa. So for the first time, I feel comfortable. If we run into a rough spot, I can say exactly what's on my mind and be just as stubborn as he is, and actually, he seems to like it. Well, you just better have some... Some tough hide if you ever decide to square off with the old man. I know it. It's just that right now, I can't imagine that ever happening. Hmm. I'm going to go have my dinner and meet the new cook and leave you two alone. See you later. You know, that little lady has got a way of getting just what she wants. 
You're so hot to stop this marriage, I could ask for any price, couldn't I? That's right. And I also could kick your tail the hell out of here. I'm nobody's fool, Mr. Beckett. And neither am I. All right? How about 10,000 now? Another 10,000 in delivery. That sounds reasonable. I figured it would. I didn't want you to think I'm taking advantage of you. You don't give a damn what I think, and I know it, so I'm sure it's vice versa. We do understand each other, don't we? You got a deal, I expect results. It gets your results. There's no sense of me staying around here any longer than I have to, so if you get the cash, I'll be on my way. Well, contrary to uh, public opinion, I don't put my millions in my mattresses. You will have your first 10,000 tomorrow. Cash, Buchanan. Oh, yeah, cash. Plan to have lunch at Wanda's diner. My secretary will give you the money there at noon. Well, that's just fine with me. What's her name? Tina Clayton. I know Tina Clayton. I met her at Lord Manning ceremony. She lives with my son and his wife. <laughs> I tell you, you Buchanan, you really keep it close to the vest, don't you? Would you, uh, would you like to talk about your tactics? Why don't you just leave that to me? You know that you're not the only one around here that's got a head full of dirty tricks. I'm only doing this for Dee Dee. To Dee Dee? And I say to money, and all it can buy, and maybe that includes Dee Dee O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. Bates. Yes, Mr. Grant will be here. Thank you. He's on his way from Philadelphia now. He should be here within the hour. I'd like to hear what you know about Bowden's death. I can give you a full report on the shooting. I'd like to hear Marco's version. Well, I wasn't there. Everything I know is secondhand. I've spoken to people who were there, though. Yeah. Apparently, the police followed Bowden's daughter to his hideout. Where was that? Well, it was right over, um... Right over there. Where? It was. He was hiding out less than 100 yards from here. Why didn't you tell me this? I was going to tell you, Alex. I was checking my contacts first. There's only one reason he could have been this close. He likes the beach. This is no time to joke, Marco. Don't lose your sense of humor, Trent. Marco's got the right idea. It seems as though Bowden had something more to do. You don't think you were on a hit list as well? I have enemies. That's no surprise. The surprise is in hearing it so late. Well, the good news is we now know where Rob is, right? Yeah, but what was he doing in Bowden's room? I'm afraid he was trying to even up the score for his grandfather. I understand he was trying to find out from Bowden who paid him. Wednesday. Going to arrest. When the law is for sale, Colt goes gunning for a whole town. Man's crazy. No, there's no stopping the fall guy. Then on Dynasty, explosive new evidence seals Alexa's fate. My whole life is falling apart. And on Hotel, when her competition is another man, she fights back. What can he do for you that I can't do? All starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Tonight. <laughs>